my seedlings everything is doing really well but it's time to get going in the garden it is finally spring here it's still cold but i did the job that i absolutely hate doing every year i really hate pressure washing my husband helps me most years but this year he's super busy so he can't help me but i got it done i had to pressure wash the floor the furniture it was a complete mess out there it's done though and i made a list because i was everything was going in my brain of what i have to do and i just put it in writing and it feels so much better now but now is the fun part i'm gonna go ahead and get changed and i'm gonna go shopping so i want to go find inspiration if you want to go shopping and decorate and plant some flowers go ahead and keep watching I love this garden center because they have a master gardener that is in this little yellow house and you can get so much help for any question that you have. They're incredibly helpful and I just really enjoy coming here and exploring all the beautiful things they have. Here. Oh, okay. Should those we are do the ones those? I was thinking about. Yeah, the ones that I do, is mm -hmm. they're completely purple, the outside and the inside. Uh -huh. But these look like these they turn pretty, purple. Right? Yeah. Those are pretty. Should we get some here? Get some. Yeah, get some. Get some. Did I get a oh. label? Awesome. These are new. I never grown these, so. They have a lot. Look, Australian Crescent Fingerling, Russian, Shifton. I think these are good. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are so pretty. I fell in love with this little flower balls they did with moss. The primrose, they had so many different primrose that they used on each one. I really want to make some for my own garden. This blue one with the yellow center was absolutely stunning. This color helper was so beautiful with a little rim of red. I found some great plants and I love buying the baskets of pansies. Usually have, they have the best colors and they're a lot cheaper than buying individual pansies. I fell in love with this tulip. The color was so beautiful. Ranoculus really help bring another texture. The leaves are so small and soft compared to the more architectural and larger leaves of the tulips. They work well together. This candy top flower is my favorite flower in the spring because it looks so soft and it spills down the pods. The containers just, it makes it look so beautiful and soft on the edges. If you're new here, my name is Melba and I am an urban home gardener and I try to grow as much in food and flowers in my tiny backyard. On this small pot I had an existing perennial that you can see has grown so much. It's just so beautiful. So I'm just adding some flowers for color. So this is the pot, let's the latest one I've made and I like tall tulips, you know, something that has some high daffodils and then the vernaculus gave it some scale which is really nice and then if I do pansies I like to add a larger one that's the same hue maybe with a larger lighter tone or value and then some for textures that are smaller. And now I have some creeping jenny in here, let me show you. So as I'm planning for spring, I, I look for summer things. So the Creeping Jenny is growing in here and that will begin to spill out. That's this little green plant right here. It's beautiful. I love it. 
and then I also added a little orange one a pansy that's orange just to give it a pop and go ahead and cut the pansies that are dead so that it will keep flowering just keep up with that because there's new ones coming out so the slugs are making a real food bar out of my plants but I'm treating them right now and I have a dahlia here the apple blossom I keep the tag because I want to make sure that I know that he's there and I don't damage the bulb. So I know that I'm going to have some of that and then I will be replacing with some new ones in for summer. I do have a vinca here that is growing which is going to spill on the back side also. I don't want to fill it up too much because summer will be coming pretty soon. I just wanted some color. This is a large pot that I have a miniature Japanese maple and these little pink flowers are perennial so I wanted to add something bright and these yellow pansies work really well. It is time to get the furniture set up. I can't wait to be able to spend time out here right in front of the fire pit. layer the different textures that you use for your throw pillows and if you want to add more flowers go ahead and find throw pillows that add that Cute little Buddha. I love them. Put it here. Little, little mushrooms. I'm trying to make things face that way and this way also. There's nothing wrong with buying some of your lettuces or other food that you want to grow in your garden. I grow in the spring and I still buy some. If you buy them, make sure that you buy some that have multiple in one cup. You get you bang for your buck, you get so many. I got four to six plants from each one of these containers. My mother and husband gave me those little Buddhas and we have been in search of the speak no evil. We have the other two and we have never been able to find them. But I just love them and this planter that he built me just makes me smile every time I come out to the garden or look out from the kitchen. Look how easy it is to split the lettuces. They just don't take much to divide them and get so many of them from one cup that you buy.
When it comes to the core, I love the eclectic look, the modern or contemporary piece like this vase against the more textural sort of vintage look of other items, natural materials like wood. I have a blog post that talks more about combining natural materials for your garden or home and I will link it below so you can see exactly the process I take in doing this. I almost broke the glass, this Buddha. I love all the Buddhas I ever can get, but this one was super heavy. Look at this rose. This is not the most beautiful thing ever. I found it and I am in love with it. I love adding that orange sort of pinkish color. It really helps all the cooler colors of the purples and blues and greens to stand out. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up to help the channel.